Castile is one of the biggest and most important nations in EU4, but I've never played as them. Until today. This mission tree gives you five personal unions, permanent claims, and frankly overpowered buffs, and I'm gonna use all of them. I don't think I've ever played as Castile. I don't remember ever having played as Castile. So I don't, it's weird, because one, one of the larger nations, um, we're gonna go all out here, we're gonna rival Aragon, rival France. Do I, like, I need to do something with Portugal, presumably? I just, all I know about Castile is we have an insane starting morale of armies. That's the only thing. <laughs> they don't know anything else. Infrastructure plus ultra. I don't want to go with the colonial game, though. But half of this is to do with, I think I'll just ignore it. Maybe, we'll see. I like claims on England. Should we complete this England, uh, this nation? This mission was England of the Great Britain for all of the heretic religion was being eligible for personal union will instead get restoration union can spell like. What does that mean? Eligible. Assuming that means they're a monarchy. Okay, is there anything here for Portugal? Recover Portugal. Let's just straight up attack them. Let's go ahead and rival England for now. I don't want to ally Portugal just yet. There's some weird there's a, a disaster that's gonna fire immediately. I don't know what that does. Infantes of Aragon. I don't know how <laughs> this is. Hmm. It feels like there's a lot of nuance here. It feels like I could do very well if I knew what was going on. Unfortunately, the plan is to do this no allies because uh, I'm built different, frankly. So let's prepare the reconquista. Total Navy says at least 100 of the force. Man, I'm sure at least 50 or 15% army professionalism. Christ, okay, there's, there's a lot going on here and I don't know quite how to feel. Looming disaster, I can't stop it. I assume we just have to wait for that to finish. We either crush the Infantes, which removes loyalty. That's great. Or we side with them, but we get restoration of the Union of Aragon and Navarra. But I'm gonna get Iberian Wedding anyway. So, vassalize that. Navarra, no, because I don't need an ally. Getting permanent lands in the Castile, land that Castiles hold. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna see what happens. So four more ships and two more men. Two hundred remain happened, and it actually happened. That sucks for me because I wanted them both to be weak. Actually, no, I guess it's not because I can fight the English. Now I need four ships. What do I do? Hmm. <laughs> I should probably watch a Red Hawk guide on this. Yeah, I don't want to have this. That sounds terrible. Sevilla and Zamora. Get one down there then. Probably should have put a general on that. That's, uh, that's on me. Apparently, I'm a little bit rusty. This is not getting done with Enrique. They changed Enrique from a 000 to a uh, 201 though. So good for him, I guess. <laughs> for those of you, all of you uh, Enrique fans out there, you versus me. Saturday, 7 p.m. GMT, we'll stream. For those of you who are new here, this is the ultimate form of human suffering. I have three hours to complete a challenge in EU4 whilst chat does their best to stop me by spinning the Wheel of Punishment. This time, there's the Wheel of Pain and the bigger Wheel of Pain. This has delightful punishments such as mayo shampoo, crack an egg on your head and like it, and eat three bites of onion. Raw onion. If I ultimately fail to achieve the aim, I have to go skydiving. Did I mention I'm scared of heights? How do I get out of this disaster? Ability at least zero. And then let's use this. You found money from loans. How old is that guy? 40. Probably shouldn't have done the whole disinheriting. Ah, be fine. I'll just be at war all the time. I can hold it for a month. I was gonna rise up in Toledo, but we hold it a month. I should be able to do this and it's done. No more looming disaster and I can get rid of this. I just need to keep revoking. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, stability needs to be at least one and then I can do Infantes. Okay. Revolt in Mercia. Oh, this start of the, it's quite exhausting, the start of the Castilian game. I'll tell you that much. Oh my God. <laughs> More revolt. By the way, these aren't like um, disaster triggered rebels. These just, these events are just happening. The last two have just been pure chance. Okay, prepare Reconquista. That's nice. Nobility are now disloyal because I've killed everyone. <laughs> I thought this was meant to be fun. It's a miserable start. Go ahead, Mothball. That, please tell me rebel Aragon. Fine, we can fight Britain. Not the explosive start I wanted, but that's okay. I need Alphonse to die and I need a kid. 656 with a week. Yes, please. Christ, okay. That's useful. Billion civil war. Dude, <laughs> this is horrible. I thought this was going to be fun. I really shouldn't have put the stipulation of no allies. I think I'm playing worse than AI. I really, I really do. Okay, that gives us the Infantes of Aragon. It gives us the illegitimacy. It's ability to cost modifier and all the states influence modifier. Minus 20, that's good. I need to make the nobles loyal and crush them. Okay. I like this actually. I mean, it's hard, but it means that I shouldn't have given the nobility all those privileges. <laughs> Wait. Does that mean I no longer have a civil war? Has no heir. That's what started it. Less legitimacy, we've got that. He's ruled for less than 60 months. The next guy's gonna have that. And he actually has skills more than two in each category. Okay, well, let's go after the North Africans and, and uh, Granada for now. That's Morocco. And let's get ready. That's all of my fears now gone. We've got tech four before they did. Life is good. In the meantime, just doing the agendas for... Wait, am I meant to... Am I meant to do that? Oh God, what gets me the Iberian wedding? Becomes the new heir, but like I've got a 656. It's time to Google. Dude, I don't want to give up a 656. So they need to have opposite genders. That's a male. That's a male. The nobility want me to make Vizcaya Castilian. 
if you insist. We're about to lose our great power status to who? Oh, Vajaniga. Nice. Oh, nice. I'll take that. Portugal declares war on Granada, you say? Maybe a vassalization is on the card. It delays me here, but frankly, I think that's a good idea. Oh, no, Portugal. <laughs> Give me access. Let me, let me bail you out here. I don't mind winning this, please, in your own time. Flood across, lads. Our renaissance is a thing. We're close enough that such that that doesn't matter. Push the walls real quick. Yeah, Jesus. Aragon declared war on front, and we get some army professionalism. That's always nice. It's only 15. Might just have to hire a bunch of generals. Dump some stats, some, uh, some mill. All right, Tangiers. That's fine. We just wait now. All right, Morocco. Do I need to do a defensive war against um, Portugal? It means I don't have to fight England. But maybe I want to fight England. You know, I don't know that England could, can, yeah, make, like, can, can contain me. So I think I'm just going to take them. Oh, for God's sake. I've got on this thing twice now? It's like twice in what? Eight years? I hate this event. It's so bad for me because it's going to lose his loyalty. I mean, unless I want to gain some loyalty. How long for? 10 years in the loyalty. All right, Fares is done. And that actually traps the Moroccans over there. Orléans. Why do I have a claim against Orléans? What? What did you do? I'm being embargoed by them. Okay. Portugal, you got to stop, man. What do I need to do to continue the reconquista? Because I could do it now. I need to fight Portugal for that and then convert Iberia. Cool. Easy. Claims in Aragon. We'll get that once our uh, thing comes of age. Reinforce royal authority. Nobility influence needs to be lessened. Then we get law and order later. How long? How much later? Austria's weaker than me. I get restoration union on Austria. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is about to be insane. All right, just nip it in here. Don't mind me. Uh, do you mind giving me access, Lemson? No, you love me. Cool. Surely this will give me 100% soon, right? I don't want to see if I age is like in Morocco, mainly because of the Portuguese. I have claims of Portugal now, right? I don't? What was the whole thing about give me claims? Recover Portugal. So that didn't give me claims? Oh, that not give me claims? Oh, I get restoration union. Do oh God, there's so many choices. Because here's the thing, right? Two options. Either I wait for the Iberian wedding, which is fine. Oh, for God's sake, there's a regency. That's a woman, isn't it? Ah! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because what that means is that, like, I think that counts as, as the inverse gender thing. But that's, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Basically, I either wait for uh, Iberian wedding, in which case I'll get Restoration Union in Portugal and I can just take them. Or I fight them. I think I'm going to wait. As much as I really don't want to. It makes sense to wait. No, I did. I only have 60% against Morocco, which is kind of ridiculous given I have every the entirety of Morocco bar two provinces. I haven't had a single nice event yet. Okay, sweet. I'll give you all this land. And let's take the land over here as well. Oh, actually, I need to cancel those wars because I'm going to get claims pretty soon. All right, let's head back home. Well, we need to curtail the nobles, don't we? We're going to start stripping their rights away from them. Give me another 10. I should be able to do it. We're in 62. Ugh. Lose one stability and we just make everyone Catholic. Now we just take this and we get completely reconquista and then converting Iberia immediately. All right, nice. There we go. Make Aragon a junior partner, which means I could have kept my 656. The rising up in Meknes. Ah, yes, the source of all of our tensions. Meknes. Hey, that's Iberian wedding. Claims in Aragon done. That gives us restoration of the union. Is Naples not part of that? Oh God, and they're eyed to France. A lot going on. Go ahead and declare war. I'm actually so sad about my, my poor 656. Six. I want to keep historical friend with them, so because um, that translates into a nice amount of liberty desire reduction. Oh, I should have gone for. Why didn't I go for Byzantium? I was so blind. I could have. I could have done something. I could have saved them. Let's go here. Restoration Union. I need to crush the Portuguese navy first. The reason I'm standing here is because the Portuguese army is down here. Okay, I lost a heavy. That's very painful. And England's landed troops. Why can I go through this? There you go. This case has been done in. Gives 10 loyalty. Land owned by the crown needs 50%. Did not realize that was a thing. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay. 29.4. Bear with me here. 29.6. It's 0.2. Yeah, when <laughs> one every five clicks and we need another 10%. So it's 50, 50 clicks, right? Yeah, 50 clicks. 2,000 points. I've got about half that. Yeah. Why would you land troops on me? That seems stupid. Well, that's fun. Didn't see that. Don't know. Oh, he can just walk past my forts because of suitor. Toby doesn't have an army hiding behind that. Don't think he would. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. This is sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This has not been a fun war. This has been uh, rather miserable. Um, these things happen. I'm enjoying the French control over Naples. I also got to fight France early. Doesn't feel good. But it's fine. We have better troops than the English, so we could just sort of march in, right? Yes. 15 army tradition. I like that. Oh, professionalism. Oh, professionalism, right? Oh, actually, I can get this. 15 army tradition. Does that do it? I've at least eight ships or... Oh, God, i got to have a flagship. Okay, get a flagship then. We're going to need one anyway. Okay, Isabella's about to come to the throne, which means we'll get some decent projection points. Why do we only have 8%? I get because of Lisboa, but we have the rest of his lands as well. 45%. There you go. Dear God. <laughs> Just win! 694 days! All right, we have ourselves a queen. We'll be back for Labor and Bordeaux. Okay, we've taken money and war reps, which actually should be enough. Embrace the Renaissance. In with Portugal. That's not a terrible coalition. 
more money. So we've got continue the Reconquista, which gives us morale of for 15 years. We get Convert Iberia, which is also going to give us some stuff. Recover Portugal. Sure. We've got three stability. Now the Crown of Austria. 25 years restoration. I mean, hell, we might as well, right? That's a lot of prestige. Nice. Also get armies of Iberia. We get more morale damage. I and mean, we got to do it, right? I want to build another two heavies. And we'll get rid of our light ships. Okay, rough start, but we're here. I know that England has uh, six heavies. And so we need to make sure we beat them for a mission. We are outnumbered. We have a tech advantage. We can get to his land. The reason I'm pushing this hard, by the way, is we have absolutely phenomenal morale because I accidentally stacked everything. It's only where Aragon's troops are and they, they had 10k in Sicily. Bressigal done. Found something and ran over some troops. Right, I reckon we leave 14,000 behind. We will march on Bressigal. There are some Hungarians there. Oh, I don't like the fact they turned around. There's something here. We are going to gamble though. I think that was worth it. Now we rush. See, won the siege of Vienna. I'm gonna see what the comparison is in terms of morale. We have 5.1 morale. Okay, that'll be why they're running away. Yeah, okay. There are some Austrian troops around here somewhere. I think they might have given me the slip though. 14k to deal with the people in Iberia. The rest aren't gonna be elsewhere. That scared me for a second, but we're fine. Ooh, we might need a bit more 14k. I think the rest of them are over here. They got a lot of troops, man, but phenomenal morale. Spanish Armada, excellent. I'm doing it now so we get permanent claims. Wait, whilst England is a heretic, do we hold it? Is it heretic or? Okay, no, it's whilst being eligible. We're doing it so early that it's, it's like we're preemptively saying, just in case they become heretics. We don't know what heresy is. I'm sending packing all over the joint. Oh, that's another win. It's our army tradition. If it's above 60, yeah, it is. Let's roll some generals. Catch them. We lost 800 troops. Okay, Castile might be a little bit insane. Austria's opinion of Castile is 100. Uh, yeah, sure, but friend the Ottoman Empire's rivals immediately failed. It. Why would it offer me that mission? Oh, we're actually fighting that. We still won. <laughs> we're killing every man, woman, and child in the empire at this rate. My god. Okay, we do need to steady up a little bit. Wool, apparently. That's nice. I don't know what that means, but we've got it. Dude, I'm trying to get anyone that. Oh, screw it. We'll get the discipline guy. I've been rolling that for so long. Gartens done. They're reinforcing that. They are not. Have attacked them in the mountains. Does not matter. And we'll take tech six. I'm gonna go ahead and take this mission. Never know when you can attack the English. God, the stack wipes. The issue is I spent so long. Oh my god. Stack wiping uh, nations that I can't um, get a grip on the siege side of things. He's trying to knock his allies down to medium without actually sieging them down by just, just killing all their troops. Which, you know, I think is going well. Let's see if he'll peace out now, Salzburg. Yes, he will. Okay, nice. Well, let's see. Maybe he won't, but he hopefully will. Yep, he will. So Munich, Baden, Bregenz. I don't think he has any troops left. I mean, oh dear, what's going on there? Oh dear. Who have you attacked? Passau. Passau vassal of Munich? Yeah, I think they are. Sorry, you're at war with who? Munich's at war with the Ottomans. I'm going to be at war with the Ottomans. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. I did not see that one coming. Probably should have. We have a few issues. I'm going to have to fight Bohemia at the same time as the Ottomans. Oh, Hungary could become my personal union as well. Ah, Jesus. Okay, well, we stack wipe them. Uh, let's hit Bohemia first. <laughs> this is not fun. And then obviously the coalition as well. I'll never declare war again. They're not even disloyal. I think they're just concerned. Okay, Portugal and Aragon have turned up, which is nice. Do have a take advantage over the Ottomans as well. That's terrifying. Shuffling people around because I want to be able to fight the Ottomans. Why do you not have any forts? This was wrong medium. That's surprising. Why? Relative strength of alliances. Yeah, we do have a lot more troops. My concern isn't the Ottomans coming in. My concern um, is the coalition. I mean, I'll get aggressive expansion impact, but I don't know if it's going to matter. They're defending their lands really well. Lose the stability. That's not what I want to see. Okay. That is what I want to see. More military professionalism that could be converted into, <laughs> into manpower. Oh no, I'm going to lose trust from Munich. How horrible. Don't really need anything else from you. Money to keep the war effort to churning. All right, now we just fight the Ottomans. Yeah, we're going in and we crushed them. Nice thing is Crimea's three-star general didn't come in. All right, we need to crush this Ottoman army. That one there we'll catch. Ooh, that might be a stack wipe. Don't know where the other army went. I mean, hungry in your own time, mate. It has just occurred to me that the Hungarians aren't actually in the war, even though this war is for Caesarum. Oh, wait, no. This is Caesarum, isn't it? No, wait, where's Caesarum? I don't think either one of us can get it. No one controls Caesarum. Yeah, because that's Caesarum. He declared war on Hungary, but that made Austria the war leader. So even though the war goal is Hungarian, Hungary's not in the war. They just decided against it. All right. I'm going to ignore everything and just take the capital. Landing troops in Gelibolu. This is intense. Want to siege Constantinople? Very quickly indeed. And now they can't get across. And they got the Crimeans. I've had no manpower for a long time now. Pay back my loans though. But where are these troops? They're over here. What do I even do with the Ottoman? We already have a coalition. The coalition is not that bad, to be honest. We got lucky. Look, it's 40 minus 49. We did. We got very lucky indeed. <coughs> siege Manabolu. Crush the Ottomans there. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, what do I do with the Ottomans? I'm tempted to take land and obviously release 
Byzantium, but we already have too many diplomatic relations. Can't get them to release Byzantium. Can't make it a core. I mean, hell, I could do something like this. Then release Bulgaria. Can't release Bulgaria. Uh, okay. I was thinking I could release Bulgaria and also Byzantium, but then that puts me three over my limit. They're smart, all those guys who join the coalition. Uh, I was gonna go for a military idea first and like go for defensive and get plus 15%. So we have 30% morale plus the other ones. We'd have like plus 70, 80% morale at the start of the game, but I really think that's massively overkill. I think we have to go influence. Get that annexation cost going. There you go, Morocco into the coalition. So does his little vassals. I can't just kill my my vassals from my Hustle Union's troops. It's illegal. I also can't give this to anyone. Yeah, I reckon we release it. Screw it. It'll be funny. I'll just be underpowered when it comes to the other stuff. That's okay. Yo, did they win? There's all 4,000. The 5,000 uh, Portuguese beat 14,000 uh, Moroccans. My God. Take this land. Some cash. I'm going to regret this, but here we go. Release Bulgaria and release... Byzantium, to whom I'm going to enforce religion, then grant promises. Catholic. There we go. Look at that. And people immediately leave the coalition against me, which is surprising. I mean, that puts us in a phenomenal <laughs> position. Oh, that's stupid. No one's particularly disloyal. All right, now I get my manpower back and plan. Next steps. Can't have it. It's mine. No, what do I want to do? Decentralize could be good. Kind of like royal favoritism. Do matter relations plus one. Yes, please. <laughs> Go represent the crown. Please, God. Okay, I need to fight France and I need to fight England. That's one easy way of fighting France, but I don't want to. I think I'm just going to take the land. I don't, I can't do another restoration union. I can't. I don't have it in me. I've currently got eight out of five diplomatic relations. Um, it's not happening. Bronze cannons. That was us, by the way. Relations deteriorate with England. Get everyone back here. Do we fight England first? No, I think we fight Naples first and then France. We do it for land. We'll take the land off him. And then we'll lobotomize France with that. Maybe call them in as a co-belligerent. Because that takes them off the table in terms of a uh, coalition. Then we go after England. I'm going to abandon Navarra. Very little gain. Nice, we've become papal controller. That's great. We're just good. Uh, kind of want to do curia power cost. Ourselves diplomatic annexation cost. Who is even in this coalition still? Oh, no one. That was the last regs. All right, we declare war. Let the French come in. Do it for Calabria. How many troops do the French have? 48,000. Okay, that's fine. So the Hungarians have gone straight for the Neapolitans, which is lovely. Three fresh cannons right off the foundries. Oh, dear. Looks like the French have gone south. Oh, no. The Austrians and Hungarians have dealt with it. Also, Hungary has... This area from, um, what's it called? From uh, Moldova, right? Moldavia. They can't, I thought this was a continuous area, but obviously they can't get over the Carpathian Mountains. So I actually need to fight Hungary soon. Can you imagine if a nation did this? Like the Ottomans taking large places of territory, that makes sense. But the Castilians enthroning everyone and stretch from here to here in like 30 years is, uh, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's terrifying. Because there have been rapid conquests before in the world, you know? Genghis Khan. Uh, all of the Mongols, the Timurids, like rapid conquest is fine, but rapid this is something a little bit different. Come on, hold on. Don't, don't doubt our troops are getting a little bit spread out now. Bunch of truces. We'll see if anyone joins the coalition. They do not, which is good. The Bulgarians are sieging Paris. Perfectly historical game, this. Oh, this we should be able to assault now. Okay, the French are now here. They're in behind us. Actually, I'm going to let them stay there. Just quarter them. They won the siege of Lyonnais. Now what? <laughs> okay, let's start getting these other guys out of the war. So Scotland, Utrecht, France, Britain. Screw it, let's just march against the French. Their troops aren't bad. Ours are simply better. Where's he retreating to? Bas Puto. Apparently all the way up here. I'm gonna barrage that. Might be a bit of a waste of mill, but start Golden Era. Why not? Get some war taxes. Wait, could I have done something else? Guys, could someone go and deal with that, please? The Hungarians are trapped. Yeah, cool, but go. Okay, this ability is nice. So Portugal's kind of all completely siege. Oh, that was bold. It was very stupid, but it was bold. Lost Siege of Paris. It's fine. Just go round. <laughs> Hungary. The Hungarians are about to get thwacked. Move around, Hungary. They don't have to stand there. No one's forcing you. What do we do with the Cobalt of France? Get him to spit out nations, I'd imagine. Gascony's rough. Yeah, we'll get him to spit out Gascony. Gascony and Bourbonnais. Why not? Split them in two. That should be the end of the French. So if I could just take land. I hope I can outscale the coalition. Eh, I'd rather have funky borders. New idea set. I'll let my vassals colonize for me. I myself. I want to go, I mean, missionaries and missionary strength. No one expected it. Too right, then. Austrian succession. So we need all provinces in the Tyrol area. And we get diplomatic reputation and proof relations. Does that mean it wants me to become... I want to become the uh, the emperor. Then to Italy. Yeah, we're going to do that. That gets your claims over there. Italian conquest. That's the rest of Italy. Spanish road. What does that do? Wealthy Netherlands. So basically, we just need to go and grab territory up to the Netherlands. That's why I have mercenaries somewhere. Oh, there they are. Damn, Naples is a strong province to take. Christ. They still haven't taken Naples. <laughs> they still haven't taken it. How long? How long is that? That's like kept for still again i can't ever say anything again about uh not losing sieges in the time it's taken for him to siege back naples siege back naples because we've taken the entirety of france 253 days really it felt a lot longer than that i must have been oh i think we sieged it back if we have 99 percent on them why would they not peace out hi is it ongoing battles yeah 
Could be this, isn't it? Yep, okay. Gascony, split you in two. Was looking at potentially uh, team Gascony as a vassal, but they're a bit big for me. Even this are a bit big. We're crushing the Neapolitan army, and this should be over fairly quickly. It's not even that large of a coalition. It has been some time since I conquered something myself. The problem's really worth that much, 71%. Oh, we could do this first. What is this? What, what, what? what can we do? Reinforce Royal Authority. Bella Dolid. Ban Infrastructure. We get onto a problem for us until the end of the game. Okay, let's do that. Well, I'll do it in Granada. What do we do? Expand infrastructure? We'll do it three times. Okay, that, does that do one of them? One, two, three. All right, let's start looking at this. Reign in France. What's this? Have an ally with their capital in the French region, or we just own 20 provinces in France. That's all basically done. Then with the Tercios, can't do that just yet. Invade England, we can do. Afraid Isabella is dead. Or oh, 454, though. That's a good grandkid. Uh, but So our sort of days of infinite point generation are done. Although... We're almost finished with influence ideas, which is nice. Weird, we have claims over here in England, but we don't have claims on, you know. They're a vassal of England now. Damn. Good take, suitor. I just want it. Please do one of your relations plus one. God. All right, might as well do this then. They're going to riot anyway. I think the next step has to be declare war in England. Surely. Like, there's not really... Declare war in England. I don't really see any other option apart from take out the English. The 50-year-old Duchess. You know, might as well. Get national supply limit modifier. And I do want to just wait uh, wait for this vassal force limit contribution. And the unjustified demands. And then we'll declare war. I think we're going to have to go through Ireland. Same tactics I usually do. Go for Ulster. Drop some troops on there. I've seen Spoleto for a long time. I can vassalize them. Venice must, must have made them pop them out. All right, there we go. Finish that off. We got good colonists. Yay. Do you got colonial ideas? Coalition expansion. Yep. Do not manage to convert any of your provinces to Catholicism. Okay. Well, that sounds like more fun than fighting England. Go fight the Ottomans. No one's ever said that before. Oh, bugger, needs a paper controller. I don't know if, if she dies, I don't know if it'll trigger the Bugun inheritance, you know? I'm really, I'm really not sure. Our morale is huge. <laughs> it's great. This is what I thought was going to happen when I started playing Castile. Not that nonsense at the start. Do a little bit of reconquest. Take a 1 6. Did he move his capital? Yeah to Castamone, which is worse. Each to their own, I suppose. Right, I need to make sure everyone goes and sieges. They've all got zero liberty desire. None. Yeah, they need to go and siege. The reason I wanted them to is because I didn't want them to peace out and take Wallachian land, but... And lose stability. Good fun. They don't have any troops here. The funniest part of this is that he's trying to integrate Crimea, but he's not going to be able to do that if we take Crimea's capital. <laughs> going straight to Vienna. We've got to build a fort or something here, man. We can't just have you walking straight to Vienna every time. This is what I needed after a stressful uh, November and December. This is nice. Ah, oh, look at that. Stomping on the Ottomans. Enrique is an inspirational leader. Congratulations. Go down here. Hit me. Anabolu. Where are you going now? XRI. You can't go across. You know that, right? Right? It's, it's not legal. <laughs> Oof, that's a rough place to retreat to. If I had a navy over there, you'd be screwed, but fortunately for you. Oh, you already got stat wipe. It's unfortunate you can't be able to move more troops over there. Yeah, I definitely got to build some forts around here, man. Just irritating. Oh, should we protect rebels? Let's go deal with that first, because if they win, then I lose my personal union, which is not something I really want to go through again. Bled for that, and I think I'll keep it. Like he's probably going to Cephalonia. Okay, queen consorts here. Get royal marriage back with the Burgundians. King died real quick. Not been around that long. Good a colonist. A big battle here. Not that it lasted long, but you know, it was big. Now, do I want to leave Caraman without an Ottoman um, ally? Because I'm scared the Mamluks will come in and stomp him. I'll just take that money. I don't care. And and uh, just, I just clicked random buttons to return cause, I'll be honest. So there you go. That'll do. Ugh, it's a mess, but it'll do. <gasps> Fashion nobility, I can get rid of it. Oh, please. Which one's the treasurer? Artist, natural scientist. Treasurer. Who is he, Sunny? Because I need to upgrade him to level three and have the burgers be 60 loyal. Uh, I could do that. Guilty treasurer, reform the treasury. Spanish dollar. Our chief consort gets plus one, sure, uh, to admin. And then until for 20 years, we get some cool stuff. We can actually keep him as well. He's a bit redundant, but we could keep him. I'll trigger these rebels real quick. Oh, well, they'll do it for me. We have Duke Charles de Trastamara. I can actually claim his throne. I don't understand that we're good inheritance, man. All right, I think it's time. How many ships does he have? I think our heavies should be better because we have a flagship, maybe. I mean, he's running, so that's a good sign. All right, let's, let's make our landing in Ireland as we'd planned. Uh, actually, we'll be fine. 27,000 troops. What's that between friends? Watch the earth. Yeah, you know what? We're going to stay. Get pack and shot, tech eight. And and if there are any mercenaries to be had. Oh, Portuguese are trying to land troops. I feel bad now. Fight them here. All right, here we go. Fight the British Navy. Yeah, we, we want that handily as well. That's the British Navy done. Clean up Ireland. Yeah, I made a mistake. All right, back across the strait. Ye with no lead up. <laughs> Organized retreat. Okay. If we're pinning down his main navy, I think it stands to reason that we could take our uh, transports and go and bring over there, our boys. Dumfries. Not Portuguese separatists. The rebels again. Smash the navy once more, I hope. Ooh, that's not good. Why are we losing? I'm just going to stay in the battle. Why did we lose that? I really don't know. It would seem France would declare war on England at this point. Northumberland is done. What do we do here? Oh, that's what the game suggests we do? Well, if the game suggests it, who am I to say no? Not even a big coalition. There we go. I didn't even check to see what, what mission we could have done. Oh, we're closing in on that. Anyway, chaps, that is going to be the end of my Castile run. If you do want to see more, then make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to continue our domination. Maybe go ahead and form run, because that's always fun. 
Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. Your support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.